Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalumnius here from thethoughtgym.com. Welcome to this week's video. First up, for those of you that watched last week's video, did you do the task that we set each other? And how did you get on? For me, I found it challenging, but when I did find myself doing the thing we were not supposed to be doing, I did catch myself doing that and stop immediately. Um, it's just an ongoing piece of work. If you've no idea what I'm talking about, then check out the video here. Um, otherwise, carry on with this video. This week, what I wanna share with you is something that has really profoundly changed my life in the last four and a half years, and I'm sure it can do the same for you. It's something that we, I'm sure, can all do, but many of us don't do, and that is reading, reading books. I hear you're saying that, okay, big deal, Harry, but the fact is that all the top people in the world, if you wanna be better, you have to start reading more books, and I'm not talking about fiction books, where they can be good as well, I'm talking about mainly non-fiction. It was something I never was into at all before. And the, the scary fact of the matter is that most people never pick up another book once they finish university. And I think that was the same for me, except for the two and a bit years or so that I was traveling where I was reading fiction books. I didn't really pick up any other books until about four and a half years ago. And I think what twigged for me was this phrase, and I wanna share it with you because for me, it was just so insightful and so powerful that I think it just really, really resonated with me. So, are you ready for it? This is it. The person who doesn't read is no better off than the person who can't read. Let me repeat that. The person who doesn't read is no better off than the person that can't read. What does that mean? Well, we've spent all this time, effort, money, learning how to read and write and yet, if we don't make use of that skill in a constructive way, we're no better off than the person who can't read anyway. And when I heard that, I was like, whoa, that's pretty deep, at least for me it was, because I wasn't taking advantage of that. And when I started to read, a whole new world opened up to me, because I wasn't limited in my viewpoint by what was in the papers, or what was in the magazines, or what was on the news, or what my friends happened to be talking about, the flavor of the month. Suddenly, there are millions of books out there. Just pick one to start with, and just start reading, and then it'll, it'll snowball into more and more books, but find something that you're interested in. Look up some authors on Amazon in the subject. Start getting into this idea of non-fiction, and educating yourself on a daily basis. Where I was, I think part of the problem was when I started working in London, I was actually always on the bike, so I was never, I was never having the opportunity to read. And then I started contracting a few years ago and I was able to get on the tube, but I only had a nine minute journey. And I thought to myself, that is not enough time to start reading. But I bought a Kindle, which speeds things up considerably because it's just easier to slip in and out of the pocket and do all sorts of stuff with. And you know, those 18 minutes a day actually had up. And it was, and then you'd always find time when someone's running late, you get the Kindle out, you're able to read something, you're queuing up for something you get to read, or you take a five, 10 minute break at lunch, whatever it might be, you read. So all of those minutes added up and pretty soon I was getting through probably a book every couple of weeks actually. And I, I'm, I'm a pretty fast reader, I'll admit, but you know, now I've read close to like 200 odd books in the last four years, four and a half years, with knowledge that I would never have been able to have gained any other way. So my plea this week really is if you're not already engaged in some kind of educational reading to help further your career, your relationships, your life, your health, whatever it might be, start, start today. It doesn't even matter sometimes where because you're gonna read or start to read books which maybe don't resonate or aren't good for you, whatever it might be. So just put them down and go to something else, but don't just waste the time reading the paper in the, in the mornings if you don't have to for work. Don't waste your time watching TV and news articles. Don't waste your time by reading pointless things, gossip magazines and trashy tabloids, or wasting your time watching aimless TV programs that you're not really interested in, spend it reading, spend it learning. Because the more you learn, they say, the more you earn. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. I recently heard a podcast and they were talking about all these billionaires and successful people and I don't think any 
or maybe maybe one flute person maybe doesn't read, but everyone else I think reads continuously. You know, Warren Buffett reads hours a day and he's like one of the richest guys on the planet. So if he's got time to read, I think you've got time to read. You just gotta find out when and how you're gonna do it. And you know, pretty soon after a year, two years, three years, you're gonna build up so much information that's only gonna help you, I'm sure. So that's my plea this week. Remember, the person who doesn't read is no better off than the person who can't read. So don't waste that education. Don't waste your parents' time or your guardian's time or your time learning how to read and not making use of it today. Preaching over, this week pick up a book that you've been meaning to read for a long time, dust it off the shelf and read one or two chapters from that book. That's all. Don't set yourself the whole book in a week, just one or two chapters. And remember to subscribe to this channel, comment below, let me know how you're getting on with that as you progress and I love to hear from you. Until next week, have a fantastic reading week. I wish you all the best. Bye bye.